Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now, I'm not with someone that's struggling to make a living. I'm actually with a very professional actor, Mr. Thanks. Peter Oshel. Oh, How thanks, are you? No, I am. Well, mate, actually, I do struggle, but that's all right. Mate, you, you're probably one of the most regular celebrity hitchhikers, so you're bumming around everywhere. That's all I do. <laughs> it's it's actually, my only job. Well, it's actually on the flip side. You're one of the busiest actors probably in, well, working out of Perth at the moment anyway. I'm being very lucky like that, yeah. Well, of course, I host the West Real Estate Program, but I'm at at the moment, working for Black Swan Theatre Company in a play called Glengarry Glen Ross, which is a fantastic thing because it's a serious piece. For me, it's serious. Okay, now I happen to be speaking to Mr. John Hughes, one of the supporters of the show, and he yeah, said, Aaron, if you want to learn how to be a great salesman, go and watch the movie. Could mm -hmm. you say the same thing about the play? It's a great play to do. There's a lot of words, it's, it's fire, it's, it goes at a, at a big rate of knots, it's fast, there's no interval, it runs through in sort of 85, 90 minutes. And, and it's, it's a really great piece for me to do. It's not a, it's not a funny role for me, it's a serious role. And, and I like challenges like that. And, uh, and Black Swan Theatre Company are a great theatre company and, and offer, offer great opportunities like this to me occasionally. And uh, I've taken it with both hands, my friend. OK, so as an actor who is famous for being funny, mm. and you're an incredibly funny man. Thank you. People say the same about me. But, yeah, uh, you are. So it's, how do you, the wrong reasons. well, probably using the same comparison, people say to me, how do you act like a rough guy? Mm. because I'm a very handsome man. You're very handsome. How do you go from being a comedian to a very serious person? Oh, oh scripts give you that. The scripts will just guide you, you know. They're so well written, this play, that if you, if you just say the words and, um, you know, don't pull funny faces, you'll get away with it. <laughs> so, so you're What's ready for fast five? the Fast Five. Okay, so okay. Now, now I want you to put a bit of, uh, of, of a twist on it because you're used to these questions. Yep. Okay. So ordinarily the, uh, the question would be the first uh, car you ever owned, but I'm going to twist it. Mm -hmm. What was the first acting job you ever had? Oh, I was in a show called Special Squad, uh, which was on in the early 80s, I think, and I was in a background as a busker with my friend who I was busking with at the time. There was a guy getting chased and we were buskers. <laughs> you remember that one? <laughs> I, I wasn't playing like guitar. I was just mobbing Police guitar officers with disabilities. That's how <laughs> I kind of picture that. Special Squad team. <laughs> Do this yeah, one. Exactly. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop or I'll shoot. <laughs> On crutches and stuff like that. Blind yeah, people funny. shooting gun. What is your worst role you've ever had to play? Oh, gee. Worst performance? Mm. Um, oh, I did a, a live cross for... Um, oh, Jesus, embarrassing. Uh, for uh, something on Channel 7 prior to the grand final when the West Coast Eagles were playing Geelong in 1992, it would have been. And uh, I had to act like I was breaking into the hotel to try and find out, you know, where to talk to the West Coast Eagles and Mick Malthouse and every time they crossed to me, I was just bad. I was just so, I was in the unfunny zone for the entire evening <laughs> and a guy the next day at a barbecue said, that was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen on television. So you should actually be said ashamed it. of yourself. <laughs> to I, my used face. To, I used to play amateur footy and I used to have a really bad game and people would say, you know, good game, mate, good game. <laughs> yeah. and you could kind of tell they actually came, when they come to you and yeah. say it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It was super bad. The next question would ordinarily be, what is your opinion of the best car? So mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it to what is your opinion of the best role you've ever played and why? Best role I've ever played? Uh, I'll tell you what, the two plays I've done for this company, I've uh, probably, I've worked, I've been pretty happy with. I'm happy with this role from Glengarry Glen Ross with uh, Shelley Levine. And Telly, yeah, it would have been Brett probably doing Kath and Kim and just being a nice. He was sort of played the audience sort of funny, so he was a good everyman. He was sort of a good listener and he could watch all these weird characters around him. And, and I just liked the way it was pitched. What is the current car you drive today? I have got a, a Lexus Hybrid, <clears throat> which go. is so quiet. I ran over my dog in it. My dog couldn't hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Didn't didn't, no, the dog didn't oh, it's die. true. The dog's fine. <laughs> no, the dog's all good. Oh, that a makes flatter it funny. Than it used to be. <laughs> that makes but, it funny. You know. Doesn't have the same bark either, like a little squeaky toy <laughs> bark now. <laughs> <laughs> but every time I pick up the keys now, hey, the dog's going nowhere near it. I don't even have to ask you the next question, which is what is your greatest fear? Running over the dog. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the reaction of your children, the poor children, and your oh, wife, when you do that. That wasn't great. Because <laughs> when I was actually uh, trying to jack the car up to get the dog out from underneath the car, because it's a very low <laughs> car, it's quite a fat dog, and the car the dog was stuck there, I was Not doing anymore. this. I was, getting the, I was jacking the car up, and my wife thought I was doing this to the dog. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> you killed it! <laughs> jacking the car up, it's all right. <laughs> the dog out, the dog stood up and walked away. Yeah, I would have pretended the dog was okay, just changing the tyre. <laughs> Dog's fine. Don't worry about no, the dog. People crying, it was hideous. Yeah, mate, you know, I tell you what, you're always a lot of fun. Normally we would, I would 
plug the website and yep. invite people that if they've got something cool that flies, drives and floats to come on the show. Of course. Unrehearsed, you ready? Yep. I hope you had a great time. Thanks for watching. That was incredibly well, that was incredibly well done. If you've got something cool that flies, drives or floats, we want to know about it. Plus, if there's an event coming up that oh. you're involved with, go to the website. Which is? ZoomTV.com.au. Go to the events page, tell us about it, send through some pictures, maybe oh. some videos to help us give it a plug. Do it safe. You're a professional. Sorry. You're a professional. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.